Pink Diamond is the most hated character in Steven Universe, with very little competition. Every major event in the story seems to be blamed on them. Character trauma, major disasters, everything always comes back to Pink Diamond and the actions that they took. This goes as far as the show treating her as the main villain. In the finale series, Pink Diamond is only brought up to show how terrible of a person she was and how her actions still haunt Steven and the rest of the gems. The show makes it clear that Pink Diamond is not a good person and should not be forgiven, and every character has the right to hate her. But when you really analyze the show, Pink Diamond's kind of the victim. And I don't mean, oh, the gems were mean to her so everything that they did was justified. No, when you look at it, Pink Diamond didn't make very easy choices, and none of the consequences that they had were intended. And as the show goes on, they muddy the lines even further to make Pink Diamond the enemy, when that was probably not the original intention. Especially when you consider Steven Universe's main message is that anyone can make mistakes and be forgiven. It seems like the show went out of its way to make Pink Diamond the enemy. And when you really analyze the actions that they took, you see that not only is Pink Diamond a victim in the series, but a victim of the show entirely. Without further ado, let's dive into it. Before we can discuss any of the crimes that Pink Diamond is accused of, first we need to take a look at Pink Diamond's upbringing and how she compares to other gems. All we know is Pink Diamond was typically left by herself. The only other people that really interacted with her were her own servants, but even then they don't have much opinion on anything. They just kind of agree with what Pink says. So she doesn't really have a greater knowledge of how the world works. Second of all, we need to talk about gems and their emotions. Throughout the entire series of Steven Universe, especially towards the beginning, we are let known that gems have problems controlling their emotions. They're comparable to people that haven't developed their social and emotional skills that well, whether that be a younger person or a person who were to have autism or something along those lines. And that typically manifests in two ways. One, complete emotional disconnect. So for example, they stonewall, they can almost seem cold and kind of mean in a way, or vice versa. They let their emotions overwhelm them and cause them to do terrible things, have clouded judgment, or even break down completely. And Pink is no exception. Now, one of the biggest things that I see brought up is Pink and all of her secrets that she kept. Mainly about her identity, but her secrets as a whole seems to be the hot discussion. Now, personally, I think people blaming Pink for not revealing her identity to everyone else is kind of stupid, but if I were to guess, I think the intention was to reveal it after they won the war. But seeing the way it turned out, it probably didn't feel appropriate at all. Also, revealing it early meant that she probably wouldn't have an army behind her. The reason she became Rose was to be a free leader shown to be one of the people. If she were to try and form a rebellion as Pink Diamond, the other gems might have thought it was a game that Pink was known for. She was known for being childish and not really knowing anything. What I'm trying to say is that if she would have revealed her identity, no one would have taken her serious, and the rebellion probably wouldn't have started as a whole. As for why she didn't reveal after they lost the war, I think it was to avoid a double whammy. They just lost all of their friends and they're barely hanging on. To then reveal that she was not the person that she said she was? Well, we saw how that went when the gems eventually found out. To have that right after a soul-crushing defeat? So I think she chose to keep her secret to protect the other gems from that emotional distraught. Another thing people like to bring up is her terrible interactions that she's had with the few following gems. Her original and new Pearl, Bismuth, and Spinel. Now let's kind of break it apart one by one. When people tend to criticize their relationship with Pearl, it typically comes down to two things. One, despite sharing a lot of things with Pearl, they still keep quite a bit of secrets, as well as not reciprocating Pearl's clear romantical feelings. Now, I'm just going to address this one very quickly because I think that it's the weakest point I've ever heard. I do not think that Pink needs to engage with Pearl's romantic feelings. One, because it's not clear if Pink were to feel the same way. And two, it's okay to not reciprocate similar feelings. Now, should Pink have said something? Probably, but again, who knows if Pink really understood what Pearl was trying to do. As far as the whole secret thing, what Pink really kept secret was 
what happened with Bismuth, which we'll bring up later, as well as her secret forgery. What I believe Pink's intention was, is to stop any further conflict and try and live out the rest of their lives peacefully. And speaking of Bismuth, people often like to criticize what Pink ended up doing to Bismuth. Now, I personally like to say that I think the episode where we first meet Bismuth kind of explains what happens. Because the show likes to use Pink and Steven interchangeably. They are very similar people who make very similar mistakes. I believe neither of them intentionally wanted to poof Bismuth. Instead, it just happened. And it would have been hard for Pink at the time to explain to everybody, so they hit it. Was it the right thing? No, but they were in the middle of the war, and they really didn't have any other options. I believe with Bismuth's very brash personality, and Pink just being afraid, it just kind of happened. And it was too late to reverse it, because Bismuth would stop the entire war in its tracks, and they probably would have lost with even more casualties, if not a complete loss entirely. Now, the main point everyone likes to discuss, when bringing up how bad of a character Pink Diamond is, is what she did to Spinel. And again, this is complete speculation, but I think that it was a complete accident. I don't believe that Pink Diamond meant to leave Spinel for as long as she did. I think that, at most, it was just going to be a couple years. And while that may sound like a lot, you've gotta remember that they're immortal. And they even acknowledge that that small increments of years is practically nothing to them. And they really couldn't take Spinel into the battle with them. As not only would it expose Pink's lie and true identity, but Spinel might even report back to the Diamonds, thinking that Pink was in some sort of trouble. Am I saying that it was right? No, but again, it wasn't an easy choice to make. And I think given the cards that were dealt, she could have intentionally proofed Spinel to make her be quiet, or taken other more drastic actions. I think the result was just unfortunate. I truly believe that Pink was going to offer Spinel a place to come back on Earth after the war. But afterwards, I think that their shot of going there was kind of ruined. I think the thought was is that, that the Diamonds would be monitoring Pink's planet, and for them to go there just to rescue Spinel could expose the remaining gems on Earth. And I don't think that was a risk worth taking in Pink's eyes. Again, I don't think it was out of a place of malice, but, but more an unfortunate mistake for the hard choice that had to be made. And call me crazy, or just being speculative, but I do believe that the show was fully aware that these choices were not completely Pink Diamonds, and some of the mistakes made were just unfortunate byproducts of situations. Given how the final season was going, it seemed like that was the conclusion that we were going to get. That while Pink did terrible things, it wasn't for terrible reasons. That wasn't the intention. They were trying to do good, it's just that when they did, bad things happened. And I think that's the point of the show entirely. Over and over and over again, we compare Pink and Steven together, just to come to the conclusion that Steven is not Pink. However, what people fail to realize is that it goes the other way around. Pink is not Steven. And I think that's the whole reason why Pink decided to make Steven. What makes Steven so unique in the show is he's the cross between both worlds. He is a human, so he has a greater meaning and understanding of emotions, personality, and social skills. But he also has the power, therefore the responsibility, that a diamond or any normal gem has. He is the bridge in between those worlds. That is why he is successful, where Pink was not. He is able to bring the gems closer together. While Pink did a fair job, Steven really helped them find their true potential. And I think that's the reason why she decided to give up herself to be with Greg, to make Steven. Because she knew on her own that she could not change the world. Because she simply did not understand. She wanted to understand human emotions and live a human life. But she was simply incapable. So she decided to sacrifice herself. So the path could be created. And I believe that the show was going to go with that. But unfortunately, it seemed to do a complete 180 in Future. Which is even weirder. When you first look at Future, it, is, it looks like it was going to make those parallels even stronger. Even showing that Steven, under extreme stress, like Pink must have been, makes heavy mistakes. 
here's where I want to bring up Pink's original Pearl. We were told that it was a genuine accident. That she cracked her out of a fit of rage. Now, do I condone violence under any means? No, but you gotta understand that it's a bit different with how gem powers work. We're shown that they're attached to emotions, and as we established in the beginning, gems do not have very good control over emotions. We see Steven do the exact same thing, and he goes way too far and shatters Jasper completely. But we're, but at the end of the day, everyone seems to let him off the hook and forgive him. And that doesn't really seem quite fair to me. As Future went on and on, I had many problems. So many that that, it's, that that is a video for a whole other day. But one of my biggest problems that they had with it is that more and more that more and more they only brought up Pink to talk about how terrible she was. When I don't feel like that was what was originally being stated. And that's what the series concludes with. And when you really look at it, Pink is just a tragic victim in all of this. All the quote unquote terrible things they did was just byproducts of hard choices that they made. And I think if we were in pink circumstances, we would have made the same choices as well. So do I think pink is perfect? No. But is anybody? I do believe that pink did have room for improvement, but I don't think that they deserved all the hate that they got. And what I think is the most tragic thing of all is not the fans hating on her, it's that the show kind of gave up on her as well. And that is what will always bug me, that she didn't really get a complete arc and she had to become the villain, despite there being way worse people that the show lets off the hook. Overall, I do not think that Pink is a complete hero, but I don't think it's fair to call her a complete villain either. She is more in the middle, and if you like the whole theme of Steven Universe, I think you should give her arc a second look. Because what happened to her is quite tragic. Not only was she abandoned by the fans, but by the show. Alrighty, video's over, here's a quick little out thing, so if you don't plan on staying on my channel, that's fine. But I, I have a lot of news and updates to break down, so uh, let's get through them quick. I am sorry for the distance in between videos. I'm currently in a new house, so I've had to get all that grand stuff set up. Uh, my webcam broke, so that delayed a few projects I was working on. Uh, I was working on a hour, or what I predict to be at least a two-hour video. I was an hour in on it, and the file got completely corrupted, and I lost everything. Uh, got working on it again, but uh, YouTube changed their uh, policies. And I don't care about getting demonetized, I don't make money off of these, and that's not important, but it would heavily kill the videos recommended, and I'm not kind of okay with that, so I have to uh, replan this at least two hour video, if not longer, so that's unfortunate. Uh, so in the meantime, I have another interesting project that I'm working on. Uh, it's by far one of the most unique things that I've done, I have gone through like over 2,000 posts of research and I've talked to multiple people for this next one. It's a bit weird, but I I'm I, I just can't wait to show you guys uh, and uh, Yeah, I have a few smaller videos planned again. Sorry about the unplanned hiatus I've just had a lot going on. Uh, I have multiple things planned out for this next year and Yeah, I cannot wait to show and share with you all so thank you so much for watching and as always stay safe Goodbye.